Stand up right now, Mel, and, and tell God thanks for your healing. I know you've done it a hundred times, but let somebody else hear it. Tell it. Somebody asked me a while ago when I brought my cane to church one mm. day. Come on. When I walked out the door, I said, I was telling Jennifer, I said, you know, I'm not even sure I'm going to take the cane with me, but I said, just in case. I said, not as a possibility that I'm going to need that cane, but Scott, because of the testimony from me. There's parked over there right beside Right along with the walker that's at home, it's parallel up parked up beside the wall. Folded up, by the way. Three days ago, I was in such, such pain. Three days. And I don't even know why. I kept saying to myself, God, what is this pain I've got to do with the surgery that I've just had? I never got an answer on that. <coughs> Woke up this morning, virtually pain free. It took me, it took a walking stick while I came to be able to get my pajama bottoms off and to get a pair of pants on or a pair of sweatpants on while I had to cook it in the cup and pour it off the house. That's in a matter of just 24 hours. Because I cried, I cried out because the pain was so intense. And I'm not accustomed to taking lower tabs, I hate them. They're poison to your body. Yet I was eating them like it was M&M's. I just don't want to deal with it. I said, Lord, where am I? Where am I standing with you? Of mercy. Help me. I can't do this. If you want me to be where you want me to be, remove this pain, heal my body, and let me get back to my church. Come on. This morning I stood out of that bed. I stood out like I normally do. I saw my cane leaning up against the headboard, and I said, I stood up. I put my pants on, put my shoes on. Not too long ago, not too many days ago, you know, I said, I'll tie your shoes for you. Josh came over to the house one day and said, Mel, I'll tie your shoes for you. Because I couldn't bend over the floor. Will you let me be a testimony for you? You know, you hear things. You hear things, you hear things. Well, I'm standing here telling you. I mean, I can testify to you. That where I've been in the last when a surgeon told me when the, there was a team of four people that spoke to me separately he said without the surgery he said you will surely die now all of you know this already I love it. Mike and I talk but Will West we talk about it Well, one, I wasn't afraid to die, but two, I didn't want to die. I was ready to die. I wasn't afraid to die, but I wasn't where I wanted to be. But God kept saying to me, I'm, you're not where I want you to be yet. There's something left for you to do. Well, here's something you didn't know this. The pastor stepped up and said, Mel, you've got to go through the surgery. He said, you're not going to die. I said, but you must go through the surgery. And I'd already begin to feel better. I mean, doctors look at you and say, you're the healthiest cancer patient I've ever seen in this hospital. What do you do, you know? But I had to serve him, Mike. And he said, you're cancer-free now. And then he sent me a letter that said, we want something to help chemotherapy last week. And I got a follow-up letter saying, we'll take me on chemotherapy this week. And then I got one in the mail yesterday that said, I want you to be on chemotherapy on December the 4th. God led me to the surgery. God is not leading me to chemotherapy. For over a month now, more than a month, but even the years that led up to this, I knew that something was wrong in my body. But the good news is this. When people here at this church begin to see the people at other churches that they have conference in and say, we have someone in our church. We have a man in our church that's a believer. I want you to pray for him. You can go out there and say, I'm going to put you on a prayer list. 
Well, we'll put you on our prayer list. Let's go, boy. That's good. That is really good. But when a prayer of a righteous person reaches up higher than the ceiling, that's the people I want to be praying for. Yeah. That's the one I want to hear you say. Lord, they are taking petitions. They're not going through in their prayer. They're, they're continuing right on through until they get an answer. I'm holding this pew up, not, not vice versa. Is there any pain left in my body? Just a little bit. A tiny bit. But when you go from a 10 plus to a minus one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give it a break. Lord, thank you for filling this church. Oh, you've not seen anything yet. You've not seen 2010. I have. You say, what? Yeah, I've had a, I've had a vision of it. You've not been there yet, but I have. We're coming into a place, and I want you to understand something. You'll be hearing, you'll be hearing this. Don't miss the message in December, the first week in December when I'm here. I'll be back. I won't be here next weekend. Uh, George Morgan will be preaching for me. And I'll don't lay out. Bless him. But what I'm talking about today is Thanksgiving. Let's don't, let's, let's don't get out of this right now. I, I'm not through yet. Let's go to let's go to the great book of Psalms. The great book of Psalms. Chapter 100. I used to be able to quote this when I was first saved. 16 years old. I could quote it then. I could quote a lot of things then. But, uh, <clears throat> Make a joyful noise. Unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye <coughs> that the Lord He is God. It is He that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Praise ye the Lord. You see, there is just a, there is a thing about, about thanksgiving unto God. You see, that's, that's why I say that's why I say when you come in the doors, praise and and thanksgiving or to start at the doorway. It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to work anything up with you. You should have been praising him Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And when you hit the doors right there, it was not about what has went on all week uh, is just about God I want to praise you. Let me just praise you. Get out of my way. I got to dance a little bit. I got to sing a song to him. Uh, I got to just stand up and say, let me give me a minute to testify. Let me tell you how much I love him today. This is what it's all about, church. It's not about what's going on out there. It's about what's going on right here. Thanksgiving. Don't let a day go by in your life that you don't stand before God and say, God, I thank You. I thank You and I praise You. Whether you're where you are to be or not, 